All right, man. We're gonna touch on some L sits now. How was your L sit? Terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it's not very. Good. All right, you mentioned it might be more hip flexor than core work. I believe it. I believe it. So. Uh, the way I want you to try to do it, I want to see what it looks like, but we're going to start in that same support position that we've been talking about when we were doing support stuff earlier yep. for muscle ups. It's going to be that same start, that nice ring turned out, and then you're going to be just lifting the legs up, just like that. Just like that. The, the, idea, the idea with a correct L sit is to feel like you're pushing your feet through the wall. Okay. So it's not about closing your chest and compressing, it's about yeah. trying to feel like you're extending forward. Right. I'll work on that for you. Let's see what I'll it looks like. That. Good, good, good. Right there, right there. Nice. <laughs> that was solid. Did it look as easy as his? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Okay. That was awesome, awesome. So it's a little bit more advanced than you kind of were saying. Um, so one exercise that I think everybody can work that is really good for that hip flexor, uh -huh. just sit down on a pike real quick for me. I don't know if I can, buddy. <laughs> so, so what you want to do, you want to start, we'll do two different variations of this. First one is sitting in a pike stretch, uh -huh. and you want to be keeping your, your knees locked out, you're going to be reaching your hands out as far as you can get them. So even if, even if you're back here, that's fine, but the objective is to try to get your feet off the ground. Oh, wow. Do I keep them off the ground? Good, keep them off the ground, about 10 reps. So if that's challenging, reach your hands Man. out a little bit further. You would keep brutal. Yeah. That's supposed to be easier? No, harder. You want to be challenging yourself. This is great hip yeah. flexor exercise. Awesome. That is really hard. The way you're doing it is actually really, really advanced. So wow. the other variation is doing a 90 degree. Same thing, reaching out. Holy smokes, this is really hard, man. You should put these into a workout. <laughs> this is super crowd pleaser. Yeah. One, two, three. There you go, good. <laughs> no rep, your heels touch the ground. But how could you tell? Good, good. Oh my gosh. You feel, I'm that Tyson. <laughs> I feel my low back, I feel my hip flexors. So most people are gonna start and they're gonna have to even start maybe with their hands behind them and just getting the oh, legs okay. up here. But you have to start you have to have a baseline somewhere. But eventually you wanna be challenging yourself, keep reaching out further and further. Is this with supposed to be easier? No, it's just not it's not it's about easier or harder, it's just a different variation of it. Yeah. That one was hip flexor. Mm -hmm. The other one I still felt in my belly. This yeah. one. Woo! Yep. So that's a really good exercise to work on the hip flexor. I think your, your core is absolutely strong enough to be able to handle a good L, but you gotta work on your hip flexor a little bit.